large, overflowing ministry that brought mighty revival in the Middle East Dubai and still continues to overflow, imparting love, life, and life in abundance in Christ Jesus to great multitudes in many nations. Jesus loves you, beloved ones, no matter who you are, Jesus loves you. God is our Father, and the blood of Jesus makes us the children of God, and whoever believes in him will never be put to shame. Jesus loves you, and whoever calls on his name will be saved. And, beloved ones, the true revival is true representation of Jesus. We must all truly represent him. The love of Jesus, the love of Jesus and his character and his life, his divine nature, divine character, divine life and his holiness. We must truly represent Jesus. That is the true revival. That is the true revival. Jesus is preparing his bride, his church. He is preparing us all as his true bride. Yes, we have greater works to do. We have greater works to do. We have good works to do. We have glorious works to do. Much more in these coming years until rapture and eternal with our families and generations. So what you have seen, it's all for the glory of Jesus. Glory of Jesus. It's all him. It's all him. We have greater works to do. More good works to do. More glorious works to do in the coming years until rapture and eternal. Jesus loves you loves you, loves you, his blood, his resurrection, he lives and we shall live also and the great Holy Spirit will do it all for us. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. He loves you and he loves you. Dear beloved ones, the Lord Jesus, our Savior, 
never gets tired of loving us. Beloved ones, he is so patient with us, only to love us. And Jesus said, I will love them and manifest my love to them. So even today, as we have all come, I humble myself along with my beloved wife, Suhanti, and our beloved one and only daughter, Divina. We come to the cross. We are nothing. The Holy Spirit cleanses us. The blood of Jesus washes me whiter than snow. And the word is Jesus. The word is Jesus, as we always say. The Bible says Jesus is the word. And Holy Spirit takes the word from Jesus and gives to me, cleanses me with his word and gives to all of us. I have nothing to give. It's all the Holy Spirit in me. Nothing in my hands I bring Simply to the cross I cling Naked come to thee for dress Helpless look to thee for grace Rock of ages cleft for me Let me hide myself in thee Jesus will never leave us, never forsake us. He loves you. As we come and look unto him, the Holy Spirit takes the word from Luke's Gospel, chapter 13, and from verse 10. He was teaching in a synagogue on a Sabbath day, beloved ones, as we always many times Numerous times we have said Sabbath every time the Lord mentions the word Sabbath means it's for us to wait. He is working. He is working on our behalf. He will work it out for us. He will work it through for us with victory. We must wait. We must rest in Him. We must put our trust in Him. That Sabbath that we stop and he begins in us. We stop with our own thoughts, our own ideas, our own plans. It's all right, but hand it all to him and say, Lord, your will, let it be your work in my life, your work, your will in my life. That'll be victorious, triumphant, life in abundance. That's Sabbath. And he went into a church, a synagogue, and there were many people. And the Bible says there was a woman who was bowed down for 18 years, unable to lift herself, unable to lift herself, 18 years. And she was in the house of the Lord. She could have just given up 18 years her spine was bent over and the Bible says she couldn't lift herself, which means she would have tried in the natural very many ways. What a life! Many times the Holy Spirit has spoken to all of us on this. Beloved ones, your efforts may have taken long years, long months, many things in life. My dear children of God, and you may say, Lord, I feel tired. I don't know what to do, dear children of God. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. And we may get tired, but he doesn't get tired. He refreshes us as we wait for him. We will have new strength, the Bible says. We will have new hope, the Bible says. We will have new faith. He strengthens us. He knows our weaknesses. He knows our difficulties. He was in the place where we are. He went through every pain and suffering. He took all our infirmities, our iniquities. He took our sin, our pain, our 
punishment for our sin. He became the sin because of us. He took our death, our curse, every work of the defeated enemy that should have been on us. And he died shedding his blood. Holy Son of God, Holy Son of God who came in flesh. He came from heaven. God who came in flesh to save us, to save us, to forgive us, to give us life on this earth until rapture. Life in abundance, long life, well satisfied with salvation. With our child and family, your children and family, or in whatever way you are, rejoice until rapture and eternal. Yes, he is risen, he is risen from the dead with his body. And he defeated Satan, sin, death, hell, curse, and all darkness to give us victory and life on this earth. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Yes, with Jesus, our God, all things are possible. Only believe, only believe. Holy Spirit helps us to believe. Holy Spirit takes the word and gives to us and the word brings faith, faith in us. Yes, let not your heart be troubled. Yes, he will lift you. He will lift your home, your family, your child, your children, your, your health, your finance, your ministry. Yes, he will lift your faith, your hope. Let not your heart be troubled, Jesus said, John 14, verse 1. Only believe, yes, only believe. He loves you, Mark 5, verse 36, Luke 8, verse 50, Mark 9, verse 23. For him who believes, all things are possible. Yes, my loving children, he is God who came in flesh, the only begotten Son of God. Jesus of Nazareth, he loves you, loves you, loves you, no matter who you are. And this woman was in the church. That's why you must be in the house of the Lord. She was in the presence, presence of the word of God. She was in the presence where the word of God is spoken. My beloved ones, that's why every Saturday, every Sunday, every Saturday, every Sunday, as the father of this ministry, as the senior overseer, taking care of all of you, beloved ones, and multitudes, multitudes, for years and years and years, even now, along with my beloved wife, Swanti, who oh, as parents to multitudes and multitudes, spiritual parents, spiritual parents, and even our beloved only daughter, uh, joins with us as a family, you know, and all of you beloved ones, how much we insist we must be in the house of the Lord, we must be in the presence, in the presence, in the presence of the power of the word of God, of the power of the Holy Spirit. This woman could have gone here, there, she could have given up, 18 years bowed down, pressed down, oppressed, oppressed, how many people are oppressed today? They need encouragement. They need to be lifted up in their spirit, in their soul, in their body. Many people are giving up on life, giving up having a hope in life. Oh, because of what they hear and see, but our hope is Christ Jesus. Our faith is Christ Jesus. Our joy is Christ Jesus. He is risen from the dead. He has defeated Satan, death, hell, curse, and all darkness for your sake and our sake. He loves you, loves you, loves you. It's not silver and gold and money and wealth. No, it's Jesus, Jesus, the Son of God. His love, his love, his love, his mercy, his grace. He loves you no matter who you are. This would, woman would never have expected this big only begotten son of God our Savior Jesus to come there on that day yes you may not expect that is miracle yes it's beyond our expectation it's beyond our ability it's beyond our thinking he is Jesus of Nazareth he is there by your side he said wherever two or three gather in my name I am there with you Yes, Matthew 18, 20, wherever my name is recorded, I come to bless you. He is there with you. That's why, my dear children, 
Don't ever miss the service in Basha, in Basha, our English service Saturday, Sunday in Basha. Here's Dubai and I am overseeing Abu Dhabi and other places, but Dubai, dear ones, be there every Saturday, every Sunday evening. That's our English service. That's our English service. Holy Spirit has told us and that's the place, our main English service. My dear children, bring new people. Many are oppressed. Many are in pain and agony. This is a ministry that wipes the tears of multitudes all over the world, even from UK. My loving children, people throng my dear children inviting me in various many many churches because dear ones the tears of people are wiped away the tears of people are wiped away this ministry is loved and renowned because of the love of jesus all over the world renowned because of the love of jesus many many want this great love of jesus and the power power of the holy spirit oh the purity of jesus his honesty, his honesty, his holiness, his humility. Oh, my loving children, be there in church. Look at this example of this woman with, she had no money, she had no family, all alone, all alone, all alone, rejected, lonely, but her hope is the word of God. Her hope is the presence of Jesus. Her faith is the very person, God Almighty. Oh, beloved, 18 years, you may be in tears, you may be waiting. When will my day come, Lord, for a miracle? When will my home be blessed? When will there be peace and joy and health in my life and body and in my future? When will my financial struggles be over? You may be waiting. Be in church. That's the place. Be in the presence of the Lord. In his presence is fullness of joy. At his right hand side are pleasures forevermore. Oh, beloved, drag yourself into the house of the Lord, into the presence of the word of God. Great power is coming in the presence of God. He is risen, he is risen. And then Jesus saw her. When Jesus will see you in your struggle, <coughs> He looks at your faith even in the, in the times you are struggling. Yes, he knows you. He said, I will be with you in your problem. I will deliver you. I will honor you with long life. I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. His word is true. Jesus is true, beloved. My loving children, he loves you, loves you, loves you. And even in, in UK, Everywhere the Holy Spirit takes me, oh, the tears of people are wiped away. Tears of people are wiped away as God does various miracles mentally, emotionally, spiritually. People are lifted up. How many testimonies here also? Physically, physically healed. My loving children, he loves you, loves you, loves you. Oh, the, that's why I humble myself to urge you, be in the house of the Lord always. And Jesus saw her. What did Jesus say? He called her to him. That is the love of Jesus. That is the love of Jesus. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. That is the love of Jesus. He never changes. We can all change, but Jesus never changes. Hebrews 13 verse number 8 says he's the same yesterday, today and forever. Malachi 3 verse 6 says, God never changes. Oh, beloved ones, just wait for him. You may feel so downhearted, downcast, broken, depressed, oppressed, feeling there is no one for you. Jesus is there for you. Jesus is risen to be with you through his Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus given to us from the Father Almighty God. He is there with us. He comes to live in us. John 14, 17, Jesus says, I will come, my Father and I will come and make our abode in you. John 14, 23, that's the promise for this year. He will come and live in us, live inside us. 
Oh, he loves you through his Holy Spirit. We are not alone. We are not alone. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you, Jesus says. His Holy Spirit is here. He loves you, loves you, loves you. And Jesus called her to him. And what did Jesus say? He said, woman, you are loosened. Woman, you are loosened from every spirit of infirmity. What a word of encouragement. What a word of love. What a word of power. What a word of life. My loving children, my dearest children, these are the words of Jesus. These, he always encourages us. He always comforts us. Holy Spirit is the comforter along with Jesus who is with us and in us, inside us. He will comfort you when we feel there is no more hope. When we feel, Lord, I am unable to believe, I am unable to believe. Holy Spirit will strengthen you. Holy Spirit will comfort you. Jesus never condemns. Jesus never condemns. He comforts. He is full of compassion. He is full of compassion, love. He is holy. He is a loving God. He is holy. He is an all-powerful God. He lives. He lives. And because Jesus lives, we shall live also. Rejoice. He loves you, loves you, loves you. John 14 verse 19. Yes, he loves you. And Jesus said, woman, you are loosened. It's done. It's done. It is finished. Jesus has completed everything for us. When he died and rose from the dead, he has completed. He has paid the price for our redemption. It is finished. Jesus said, John 19 verse 30, we are complete in Christ Jesus. Colossians 2 verse 10, he has redeemed us. He has forgiven us with his holy blood shed for us. My beloved, Colossians 1 verse 14, Revelations 1 verse 5, he has washed us, he has loved us, he has loved us, he loves us and washed us with his blood, holy blood. Oh, his blood brings his nature, his character into us. Be beloved ones, let not your heart be troubled. You have a blessed life, a new hope, a new faith, a new joy, a new power of the Holy Spirit is filling you now. Yes, everything is going to work well. All things work well for those who love the Lord. The defeated devil could have intentions, bad intentions to harm, but Jesus makes everything good for us. He turns, he is almighty God. He loves you. Genesis 50 verse 20, Romans 8 verse 28. He is a good God. Yes, he loves you, loves you, loves you. Just wait for him. Just wait. He will work everything out for you. He will work the victory, victory and life in abundance for us. He loves you, loves you, loves you. For us it is difficult. For us we may say it is not possible. But with Jesus all things are possible. With Jesus he is God. All things are possible. Luke 1 37, Matthew 19 verse 26. He loves you. He loves you. He loves every one of you, my loving children. How many miracles have happened and still happen in this ministry? They are documented, you know, they are documented evidence. It has gone on television all over the world and even now it's happening, my love, you know it. Multitudes, multitudes have been blessed, saved, saved, redeemed in this ministry. My loving children, healed, healed, healed. Oh, they have gone to many nations, some would have forgotten. It doesn't matter. Jesus has done it. Holy Spirit has done it in this ministry. Many have forgotten. Oh, beloved, but a few are grateful. A few are grateful. Hallelujah. Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. My loving children, how many miracles and healings have happened and the Lord has saved and saved the lives of people, homes, families, children. They are in various countries gone through this ministry. You know, many know, 
Everywhere of people know. That's why they love this ministry. It's not silver and gold and money. No, no, never. It's the mighty love of Jesus. It's the mighty power of his love, his resurrection, his Holy Spirit. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. My dear children, it is done. It is finished. Jesus is risen. Satan is defeated. Death and hell and curse are destroyed. First Timothy of Colossians 2 verse 10. My loving children, 2 Timothy 1 10. Yes, First. Peter 3 22, Hebrews 2 9 verse 14 15, Galatians 3 verse 13 14. He loves you, loves you, loves you. 2 Timothy 1 10, 2 Timothy 1 10. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Death is destroyed. 1 John 3 8. Yes, all works of the defeat, the devil is destroyed. He has purchased us, he has redeemed us. My loving children, Ephesians 1 7. 1 Peter 1.19, 1 Peter 1.19, we are redeemed by the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, not by silver and gold, but by the blood of Jesus. Rejoice, we belong to Jesus. Romans 8 verse 9, we are his children, hallelujah. John 1.12, Romans 8 verse number 14 and 15, we can call him Abba Father, Abba Father. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you loves you, loves you, no matter who you are. And then what did Jesus do? He put his hand on her. Why did he put his hand? Oh, yes, the power of the Holy Spirit went through every cell of her body, her spine, her bones, her nerves, her mind, her thoughts, her brains, her feelings, everywhere by the love of Jesus, word of Jesus, the Holy Spirit power. When he put his hand, my loving children, that is the oneness, that is the oneness, that is the oneness that, re, that reassured her reassured her she was waiting in the house of the Lord 18 years she didn't go here there everywhere she was waiting for the presence of Jesus with the very power of his love his word his Holy Spirit oh Jesus will never let you down Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you he is with us forever Matthew 28 20 Yes, you can trust in Christ Jesus, not in any man, not in any woman, but in Jesus Christ. Let us put our trust in him, our faith in him, our hope in him. He loves you, loves you, loves you. He is strengthening you today. He is giving you a new strength in your heart, in your mind. Yes, the old is passed away, the old is passed away. As he put his hand, the Bible says her spine became straight, her whole body became straight. Oh, after 18 years, everything became straight for her. Even her thoughts, her mind, her whole life became straight. And what did she do? She glorified God. Every glory is for Jesus. Every glory is to our Abba Father. Jehovah, Yire, Abba Father, our provider. Yes, Jehovah. Yes. And she glorified God, praised God. My loving child, after 18 years of waiting, she is praising God and praising God. What a blessed life, a new future, a new joy, a new hope, a new victory. Every work of the defeat, the devil is cancelled, destroyed. What a joy. We are living in that day. Jesus is risen. We are in the days of the resurrection of Jesus. Yes, all hell is defeated. Yes, it is done. Jesus has completed everything, ascended to the right hand of the Father. He has sent the Holy Spirit into us to remind us, to remind us, to remind us the word of God and what and the works of God and the works of Jesus. Holy Spirit is doing it now for us. Yes, rejoice. He loves you. Everything will be made straight. Your life is lifted. Your hope, your child, your family, your future is lifted all of us until rapture and eternal 
He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. And he, my dearest children, even today it's happening. This is not a story. This is true. Even now Jesus is doing it, my loving children. Oh, he loves you, loves you, loves you. Oh, if you go through our magazines, Signs, Wonders, Miracles magazines, you will see countless testimonies, our programs in the media, in the YouTube, Facebook, but more than that, the services on Saturday, Sunday in Basha, the English service in Basha, Saturday, Sunday, as the Lord is wonderfully increasing, bring everyone, yes, as the Lord is doing great things, wiping the tears, wiping the tears, and saving, saving, saving everyone, healing, healing everyone, yes, we have greater works to do, we have greater works to do, good works to do, good works to do, in all honesty, in all humility, and in all holiness, and glorious works, so that everyone will glorify Jesus, not any man, but Christ Jesus, the risen Savior. Yes, and now these two minutes, we humble ourselves to tell you, beloved ones, we are going to invite Holy Spirit. We are going to, he is the spirit of the resurrection of Jesus. He is the spirit of the Father, Almighty God, and Christ Jesus, our Savior. We are going to say, come and live in me. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Come and live in me. As we listen to this powerfully anointed song sung by our one and only beloved daughter, Divina, the anointed song, my Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit will come. He will fill us with Jesus. I need Jesus. I need Jesus more and more, more and more. We all need Jesus. In Jesus is, is life. In Jesus is peace and joy and hope and victory and life in abundance on this earth until rapture and eternal in heaven. So we all need Jesus more and more for greater works, good works, glorious works. Two minutes. We will receive the mighty Holy Spirit and Jesus comes into our life more and more and lives in us. Two minutes as we listen prayerfully, believing, believing, believing Christ Jesus. All things will be made straight and we shall be lifted up now. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Two minutes we will receive the loving Lord Jesus. Yes, Jesus loves you. He has come to live in us more and more and more now. Yes, as we take this Lord's table. Yes, as we take the Holy Communion, the new covenant. Yes, it's through this new covenant he has come to live in us, live in us. Yes, Jesus took bread, blessed it, gave it to the disciples, broke it, broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, take it, this is my body that is broken for you. Yes, 
Jesus was broken on that cross. He died for us physically, spiritually. He is risen, risen with his body. Because he lives, we shall live also. Rejoice, rejoice. He loves you, loves you, loves you. The body of Jesus broken for us. like manner, he took the cup, gave thanks to the Father God in heaven, gave it to the disciples, and said, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the new covenant that is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you can in remembrance of me. And Jesus said, Henceforth I will not drink of this fruit of the wine, until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. The blood of Jesus cleanses me whiter than snow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. The power of the Holy Spirit is coming upon everyone. We will ask the Father in heaven in prayer. Loving Father, Abba, Father, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for your word. Your word is lifting your children, no matter who they are, no matter where they are. Your word, your word of love, your word of power, your word of life is lifting us up mentally, emotionally, spiritually, everywhere, physically, physically, everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, your resurrected power, your resurrected power, your love, your love, your love, your resurrected life, your resurrected life is filling your children. Every defeated fear is coming out. Every Every defeated fear is coming out. Every defeated sicknesses and pains are coming out. Every defeated lumps and tumors are coming out. Every defeated body pains and aches are coming out. Every defeated ailment in the bones, in the joints are leaving. Every defeated pain in the neck, in the shoulders are leaving. Every defeated headaches and fevers are leaving. Every defeated infections are leaving. Every defeated defeated blood diseases, every defeated ailment in the lungs, in the breathing organs, every defeated ailment in their heart, in their liver, in their kidneys, in their bones are living. Every defeated sorrow, every defeated depressive thoughts, every defeated tiredness mentally is leaving. You are loosening your children, you are loosening your beloved ones, your hand is upon them, your hand is upon them. The oneness with you, the oneness with you the oneness with you that we belong to you is reassured reassured reconfirmed thank you Jesus you are making them your own children your own beloved your own bride your own bride thank you Jesus thank you every defeated depressions are leaving every defeated frustrations are living leaving every defeated ailment in the legs in the feet in the ankles in the bones are leaving Jesus is loosening you loosening you physically mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Yes, you belong to Jesus. We belong to Jesus. We belong to life and life in abundance, victorious, triumphant, protected until rapture and eternal in heaven. Every defeated difficulties in family, every defeated difficulties in the finances are leaving the peace, the peace, the joy, the joy, the joy. He is lifting you in peace. He is lifting you in joy. He is lifting you with hope. He's with hope. He is lifting you with such a faith, such a faith that you will be victorious more than a conqueror. Yes, your home, your child, your children. Yes, thank you, Jesus. You are lifting their life. Yes, every defeated oppression, every defeated oppression and suppressions are leaving, leaving. Yes, it's liberty, it's liberty. Holy Spirit is liberating them from every defeated death, every defeated 
thoughts of death, every defeat and depressive thoughts of fear. Holy Spirit is liberating you, loosening you, healing you. Yes, the love of Jesus, love of Jesus, love of Jesus, love of the Father, love of the Holy Spirit is filling you, filling you with joy, hope, faith, victory everywhere, everywhere. Rosaline, Rosaline, receive, 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 receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Faith, faith, receive, receive, receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are doing it, Lord. You are doing it. Thank you, Jesus. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Every defeated sorrow and fears are leaving. Thank you, Jesus. Prakash, Prakash. Receive, receive, receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Newton, Newton, Newton. Receive, 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 receive. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Everyone, everyone. Every defeated mental agony, mental sorrows are leaving. Jesus is holding you, holding you as a father, holding the child as a father, holding the child. He loves you, loves you. Yes, miracles are happening, miracles are happening, healings are happening. He's saving you, saving you, saving you, saving you, saving you, saving you. The risen Savior through his love and power. He loves you. Receive, 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 receive. Continue to receive. Lift your hands and praise him, praise him, praise him. Give him the glory, give him the glory, give him the praise. He's lifting you. Everything is becoming straight in your future, in your future, in your plans, in your desires, in your workplace, in your workplace, in your future, in your finance. Yes, Oh, the old is passing away, the old is defeated, every defeated, back pains, back pains, spinal pains are leaving, leaving, rise and walk, rise and walk, yes, every defeated, blindness, every defeated, deafnesses are leaving, every defeated ailment in any organ is leaving, Jesus is holding you, holding you, he has placed his hands on you, your loving father, your loving father, your loving saviour, thank you, Jesus, Caroline, Caroline, receive, 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 thank Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Beloved one, service will go on with mighty power. Yes, and mighty testimonies. It will all happen. Again, I humbly say, as the Father and in overseeing this ministry along with my blessed wife, the mother of this ministry, we as a family, we thank Jesus bring new people everywhere. Basha services is the only place, the only place our main English service in Basha, Saturday, Sunday, no other place, no other place. The main English service is in Basha, Saturday, Sunday. I humbly again repeat, again repeat, the church is increasing, the Lord is doing great things. Come and receive it all in Jesus' name. And Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. See you again, children. See you again. Always, always, always until rapture, until rapture and eternal. See you again. See you again. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. Pastor, this is Richard. Since yesterday night, he has been having a too much pain on his ankle. He could not even step down properly. He says that today in the morning, he has been totally healed. Completely. You can remove the shoes and stamp your feet, child. You can hit it hard and show me. You couldn't stand. Now you can do all that. You can hit your feet and all the pain is gone, son. Completely gone. Look at the joy. Look at the joy. He couldn't even stand properly. Lift your hand to Jesus. This place, at this place, your pain has just disappeared. You've just placed your hand there. It's just, just here at the down of your neck, at the top of your shoulder. And you can move your hands and neck freely from now. Pastor, this is Dorothy. Just now you pointed out pain at the back of the neck. She's been having that pain as she came to the service. Instantly gone. You came with that child? Just now when I told, it's went off. You can move your hand up and down. You can move your neck up and down. It just went off, child. Now, and now, look at the joy, look at the joy of Dorothy. Lift your hand to Jesus and say thank you to Jesus.